Hey guys, it's Heka. We're gonna be checking out TXT. They're back chasing the feeling. So I didn't watch any teasers or like, cause normally if they have like a longer form teaser, I will check that out. They didn't for this one. I don't think they did. They just dropped a lot of like more smaller teasers. So I didn't check them out even on my own. Um, but I'm so excited to be checking this out. Chasing that feeling. What feeling am I chasing? The love for TXT. Um, but yeah, really excited for this. I don't really know what to expect. You know, no, I did listen. I, I kind of peeped the album preview and I did hear like was, was it this one that might be like a little bit more metal driven oh 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 don't tell them don't tell them um but yeah this also doesn't have subtitles yet I don't know like I feel like some like I'll watch other people's reactions and they have subtitles and then I'm like what the heck like what happened and like why were there none when I was trying to react to it you know what I mean and I just I don't know if it's that just like there's that auto kind of translate feature so they just don't do it um, or if it's like something wrong with my YouTube settings that don't give me subtitles on videos. Um, but yes, I'm really, really excited. Or it could be all in English. That'd be interesting for a title track, but not surprising for TXT. Like it would, but it wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, so excited. They're probably gonna kill this because they've been killing everything. I mean, Joe Bros. I mean, Miss Anita. I mean, um, the Sugar Rush Ride. I mean, Lollapalooza. They are on one recently. Like, come on. Oh, they did VMAs too? Ooh. 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 Let's always say more time and let's get it. I splapped my space bar. Oh, we in New York! Ah, uh, what? Apocalypse? Chasing that feeling. Okay, logo. Oh no. It's like a retro beat. Fall from the sky. Maybe I miss it for good. They call me dumb hunger. No, there's cream. Why is there not subtitles? Very TXT look. It's interesting that they're doing retro, like now. Oh, hit them shoulders. Do they have superpowers now? Infinity Stones? Wait, is this a chorus? Oh, the Ninja Turtles. Got it. Lost like a child. Are they like? This one way to get around the New York City traffic. Okay, we got all the infinity cells. His shirt went backwards. Ooh. Now it's literally. Why is not too strange? Are you by that block? The car tripped me out, but then I forgot we're in the mirror dimension. Okay, levels. Oh, they said rainism. Are those fake people? Something about it's uncanny.
Christian, but I knew it was a Western director. Cause it is much more of a Western music video production. Um, I forget, I forget they do that at the end for TXT. Um, it throws me off every time. But yeah, so, um, yeah, very much clearly a Western music video, which I definitely see them wanting to push with TXT, especially because they have such a presence in like the Western scene now with Jonas Brothers with the VMA performance collaborating with Anita. Um, doing that, it makes a lot of sense to do that, and it does not have a K-pop look at all. Um, which, yeah, I mean, kind of gives lo loser lover vibes with the CGI, but this is a lot better quality than that was. But there is still like a slightly uncanniness to it, which when there's certain cars driving by or there's certain, like certain things driving by, so it's not gonna be as good as like uh, VFX for like a movie, but it almost needs to be at this quality, especially if you're so immersed in like New York City and we're used to seeing so, like real society in that way so it kind of like there at the end like I don't know if it's like a uh, they weren't blocking off a street in New York and they shot it on a green screen and then they just composited it um, with other footage but there was a slightly uncanny thing and I think it was fake people because it, even though it was slightly cloudy and the boys did have shadows on them if you look at the shadows of the feet of the people I feel like there'd be more prominent shadows on them so I think that's what it was but yeah so they are clearly kind of going for an Avengers slightly Marvel type of concept for the music video which is kind of cool I mean they're kind of chasing all the infinity stones and then we're in the mirror dimension so you clearly see the inspiration from that which I think will work because Marvel is crazy in Korea if you know you know like you know how crazy Star Wars is in America Star Wars ain't nothing in Korea it ain't nothing no like it's not the thing Marvel it's the thing um even though I feel like here in the West we're feeling Marvel burnout I actually don't know how Koreans feel about it but like yeah so but um so the music video was cool I think it was shot really well the color correction even the color correction looks much more like a Western production um like you can look at Jungkook's videos and stuff and kind of see that similarity um look to it all even though they're different directors and stuff that's still like aesthetic is like the trend I guess right now um but it was really great the choreography looked um really good as it always is with TXC as it always will be the song itself it wasn't very intense but I feel like it's again much more of a push for like a western market rather than a slightly k-pop one I mean there are certain k-pop songs these days that are getting like anti-drop or like no drop at all um and it definitely falls in this category like I didn't even know where we were in the chorus I didn't know we were in the chorus but again like it just it, it trimmed me up I was like wait 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 um but yeah so and I think like the sound itself they went for like the retro thing even though it's not super trendy in k-pop in the west it's still kind of just like trendy like what's one of the biggest songs ever Dua Lipa's Barbie song and that one's like a retro vibe you know um so like I definitely see how they are presented here how it really is like pushing that um that type of concept of them being like superheroes a little bit which isn't like so uncommon for like TXC they're that kind of well like not like superpowers or whatever because I feel like they don't have very defined powers you just sort of see them associated with the color and they're doing these sort of abilities that are different so maybe they were aliens I think because there was like a meter that came down they were aliens and whatever the blobs I don't know what the blobs are the colorful blobs but they're chasing after the blobs so chasing that feeling there you go um it's also like it's just so clearly defined of being like a Western music video. I don't know. I think it's also because I, when I was in college, I took a music video directing class from somebody who actually taught. Um, it was during the pandemic, so it was actually somebody who does um, very. He has VMA awards for like best music videos for like Fall Out Boy. He does Train. He's done. Um, how to get the disco music videos like he's an excellent movie video director or music video director um and he um just like i know the approach to it and i know how concepts are pitched for like western music videos and the idea of it the process of that so like it is so explicitly clear to me when it is um but i mean it looked great it is what it is but like visually like for me i don't know like like part of the reason why i fell in love with k-pop is like these crazy visuals that it can't get in america which i think really lend a hand to like k-pop and like the whole experience of it all so like getting like a lot more western direct music videos i'm kind of like well 
here we go again, you know what I mean? Because, like, like, part of, like, but I guess it's just sort of is going to be in terms of if you want to go for, like, a certain type of concepts and hit a certain type of market, you know, it has to be shifted to whatever and whoever music video director you hire, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, and it's just, like, I feel like there's certain artists who, like, can blur the lines, but, like, like visually, like the VFX was really good. There was a ton of it and it looked pretty solid overall. Um, but in terms of just like visually, I guess I just expect always so much more dynamic visuals, like especially for like a K-pop song. And also, why do I, is it some secret YouTube thing? Cause I got ad blocker on, oops. Um, that they don't give me subtitles for some stuff. That's also very weird, especially if you are pushing a visual concept like this and Hybe always throws subtitles on their videos in many different languages. So I'm just like, where's, where's the subtitles? You know what I mean? Because you are pushing such like a Western market look. Why not throw subtitles on when the videos dropped? Uh, but I still think the song was great. It does have a TXT vibe. Again, the retro sound is very interesting. Gonna do a first listen for the album. You know me. You know me and TXT. We go together. So first listen will be for the um, the album and I'm really excited to check it out because what was that like metal song I heard in the album preview? I don't know. But so actually let's peep a look. Let's peep at um, how many uh, songs are actually on the album so that we better know how to navigate a first listen. TXT. The name chapter free fall was oh yes and that the previous one is the name chapter um the name chapter uh temptation so really really cool so it, yeah it does like and temptation was very much like uh uh peter pan type of concept so um getting like the name chapter free fall and going for like another pop culture sort of thing um really excited oh wait Oh, they do got an English version. Back for more TXC version, Growing Pain, Happily Ever After. Yeah, it, okay, it's like tripping me up because there are some songs on here that are, um, this is also structured kind of interestingly for an album, for a K-pop album, but like Growing Pain and like Happily Ever After, I'm like, wait, Blue Spring? I'm like, wait, are these other TXC songs? Because they're very similarly titled, so. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting because there's a lot on here that we've already checked out. I'm not gonna check out Back for more TXT version or do it like that Jonas Brothers version or the English version of that So that leaves me with Growing Pain, Dreamer, Deep Down, Happily Ever After, Skipping Stones, and Blue Spring That's six. That's gonna be two parts. Okay, that's what I'm gonna work with because I don't like if I've already checked out a song I'm not gonna check it out in a first listen. So, um, but you can definitely look forward to that probably Okay, tomorrow, Saturday, I gotta do uh, Evolution, first listen, and then, yeah, so it'll be out Sunday. Um, so please stick around for that. Ooh, I love TXT first listens. They're so much fun to do. Um, but yeah, that's what's gonna um, be happening. Um, but yeah, I think the music video, very, very solid production overall, especially from like a Western thing. But um, yeah, it was overall like very, it was good. Like, I mean, it's always gonna be like, whether it's, it just has like, I don't know, because like, I don't know, I don't know, sometimes I feel weird with like, yeah, but um, that explained absolutely nothing, but overall the quality of it was really good, the editing was really good, it's interesting to see them do something so kind of, it like, it looks visually very, very different, but also not really at the same time for TXT, it's a very interesting place to be in, but again, definitely makes sense for um, where TXT is at now in their point in their career. Um, but yeah, so music video is great, song amazing as always, girl, even though she tripped me up, but that's what I get for not knowing what to expect, but I really like the sound. Um, it's really good. Choreography looks really, really great. Also very interesting that it's much more low key of like a title track, cause well, not that they've had like the most like upbeat songs, but like, you know, title tracks have like a certain standard. But again, you know, if it's much more to be kind of something that, um, is taking into account a lot more of like a trying to promote them in like a, a much like a slightly more western fashion i get it 
But yeah, go for your thoughts and comments down below to know about TXT's chasing that feeling. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up if you liked me. And want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. Want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. Want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below, or at the end screen if you like gaming content. I have a gaming channel it's called Erica Just Games. Links in the description down below. Currently playing Resident Evil 2 for spooky season, so hope you can join me over there for that. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.